<laughs> hey man, <laughs> we're here at LAX. We don't have tickets, but we're inside of an airport. <laughs> <laughs> Are we stressing yet? But obviously this is not hard to do, so... <laughs> Apparently anyone can get in the airport, right? <laughs> But maybe it's because it's actually a different language. <laughs> oh, I'm on video. <laughs> I thought I was taking a picture. What's up, Rob? Well, let me... Where's your camera at? <laughs> right here? You gotta look there. You ready? I'll take a picture. You ready? Smiling, what are you doing? Right, <laughs> man. This camera is such crap. What's going on over there? Jet lag. <laughs> what? Jet lag. So you're gonna spend your time in Bangkok? <laughs> this is what it looks like. What you got going on over there? Huh? Just got, got my slippers on. Your slippers? Hotel supplied. Kind of have big feet for slippers. No, they're small slippers. What's the plan? We're gonna go to the rooftop. Check it out. Yeah, what are you looking at? <laughs> Why are you looking at me, not the camera? Because <laughs> I'm not used to this business. <laughs> We're on the 84th floor of the Bayoki Hotel. View, great viewpoint. You see 360 degree view of Bangkok. We complain about our air quality at home. You should take a look at this. <laughs> it's pretty bad, actually. I got to my I'm, lungs. It's weird though, you can't taste it or anything like you can at home. It's kind of here. Beautiful. What happened to the ride? Oh, it stopped. <laughs> I guess maybe we're too heavy for it. You think we can get back off? Oh yeah. Eventually? Yeah. We won't have any trouble getting off. <laughs> Finally made it to Bangkok. Sorted our tickets out in LA. It wasn't too bad actually. It turned out better than we thought. Three times they checked my bag for a cigarette lighter. Three times it went through the x-ray machine. It was like 20 minutes done, empty everything out. It was it was terrible. It was miserable. We are here now. Um, we're gonna have a good time tonight. Noodles are here. Probably not. I mean, I don't think they even deserve Are you recording? Yeah. Why? You want to tell us what just happened? We don't know what <laughs> just happened. <laughs> but apparently, you can't even point at a picture <laughs> and communicate what you want. I pointed at <laughs> noodles <laughs> and not company, but pork crumbs. And then I said, I want these two. And then it was like this mystery. <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen. But apparently we need to know the difference between shabu and barbecue. Watch your hands. Watch your hands. Hot. <laughs> I'm still not what? sure what happened. Yes. Shabu? Shabu? No, no, no. No, no we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're <laughs> good. No, so let's What's just, this? you bring what we are, we're good. Yeah. We have no idea what is going on here. So what's happening, babe? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. We ordered food. We didn't know if we have to cook it ourselves or what's going on here, but we will figure it out.
I think we're cooking it ourselves. Okay, so Dude, I think we're... <laughs> what's going on? Did you figure it out? For shampoo, barbecue. Maybe I order barbecue and you guys order. I don't know. Grill. Still confused. Uh, Dude, you're getting like the full service, Rob. Look at this guy. <laughs> Currently, you gotta cook your own food here. I'll tell you that though. We went through all of this so you could have noodles. You know what? We got a culinary experience. <laughs> That's what you call this. Probably put more butter in there. Holy cow. <laughs> that was intense. We managed not to burn the restaurant down. So that's a thing. What's that? Hey, walk. <laughs> that was the roughest dining experience I've ever had, man. Like. They're really good for not having any ingredients. Experience. Culinary experience. Mr. Strub, how was dinner? Well, not bad once we figured out what we we're doing. Once we had our little friend cook us our food, show us how to work a grill. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently you need butter, some heat, <laughs> throw in some meat, pretty soon you've got meat and noodles and shit. Sam, get in here for a second. Cheek, cheek, number two. <laughs> Survived the first night in Bangkok. We went to a street market, had some food. We felt like morons. We didn't we had to take us a minute to figure out we had to cook our own food, which doesn't sound that hard, but when you don't understand what they're trying to tell you because they don't speak English and there's no way in hell I can speak Thai. Um, 
It was entertaining. Got in the Tuk Tuk. Tuk Tuk was hauling balls down the road, swerving out of traffic, cutting people off. It was insane. These guys drive like, like maniacs around here. There's no issues. He didn't try to scam us. He didn't try to take us anywhere else. He was a pretty good, pretty good guy. Um, charged us exactly what we, at what he said he would, so there's no worries there. And then decided to take cameras out. Went out, took some photographs of the street market right next to the hotel. It's pretty good. The 7-Eleven got some beers, got some ice cream. You know, walked around. It is an amazing place. The experience is unreal. The the sounds and the noise and the people and. And like the smells, one second you're you're eating, you're smelling some good fresh barbecued food, you know, there's cooking right there for you. And then two seconds later you, you smell garbage. It's like what the hell? The sensation is like so extreme from one to the other. It is street markets are awesome. Tuk tucks, don't be scared of the tuk tuck. Tuk tucks are pretty good, better than taxis. Um just hang on <laughs> and don't look at the traffic coming your way, you'll be fine. Anyways, first night in Bangkok. It's pretty good. See you guys later. What's up, babe? No. I have to hold on to the world. What's the matter? What are you doing down there? How do you hang on to the world? I hate you right now. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. You hate me right now? Jessica needs to hold the whole world. How can you hate me? Somehow, it's got to be your fault. <laughs> it's my fault you can't hold your whiskey. You may not want to take this. <laughs> I'm going to show you this in the morning, and you're going to second guess your Jameson oh, habit. I have a feeling I'll remember. I don't know if you will. Stop taking me. No one is in this. Alright, here we go. This is Bangkok Sunday Market. It's like the most amount of people I've ever seen in my life all crammed in here shopping for stuff. You guys check this out. This is not bad right now. No, this is actually this is mellow compared to what we just went through. Huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> crazy it's like chaos you gotta like jam yourself through if you stop for too long the people behind you just start kind of like pushing to tell you to get moving <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> pretty crazy coming from small town camas of what how many people do we have in camas 1500 I think our whole town was in that aisle right there right and it just keeps going. It's just, that's just one aisle. There's like the whole block is this oh, one this building. Is city blocks of this stuff. <laughs> right. And the crazy thing is, is they're like polite. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, they're all friendly about cramming in there. It's sorry, just sorry. crazy. Same right, with we got to find Rob. We've lost him in Bangkok. Somewhere in that med nest, <laughs> Rob has been lost. Um, we'll find him. But we got to go look for him. Let's go find him. Like, I don't even know what's a road and what is not. They just drive everywhere. How do people not get hit? Oh, there you are! <laughs> what's up, Rob? <laughs> How was that, buddy? Sucked. <laughs> I walked down, dead end. Walked back, get in the same fucking... You got in the same shit we got in? <laughs> I ended up doing the same shit the whole time. Holy crap, dude.